Over the past year, I've tried three different calendar apps and had dozens of calls booked with each of them. This video is my thoughts and experiences using TidyCal, Calendly, and Cal.com. I'm not affiliated with any of them. I just like offering my experience to help you find the best software for your business needs. I'm going to be looking at each of these calendars through three lenses, pricing, simplicity, and key features. First of all, I'm gonna start by talking about what all three of these calendars have in common. All three have free and paid plans. All three have integrations with Zoom and Google Meets, as well as calendar integrations such as Google Calendar. All three offer paid bookings, meaning you can set up a paywall in order for people to book time with you. With all three, you can embed the calendar booking on your own site. All three are pretty much the same in how you set up your availability. There are just differences in the UI. And finally, in my experience, all three are reliable. I never had issues with any of them messing up time zones or conflicting with my Google Calendar or anything else like that. All three are great choices, but the one you pick will depend on your needs, your customers' needs, and your budget. The first app I'm gonna talk about is Calendly. Calendly is the biggest player in the booking space. You have almost definitely used it before. That fact alone is important. I cannot understate how important familiarity is. For example, in the video calling space, it's Zoom. Everyone knows and is familiar with Zoom and has almost certainly used it for business and even personal situations. And also Zoom is reliable, it just works. I've tried using Google Meets and Teams and other ones, and it always causes confusion with clients. So I find myself returning to Zoom. So it is with calendars. Calendly is familiar, it's easy, and it's reliable. There is also a component of trust to it. Some people don't click links if they don't know the company. They might not click something that says Tidy Cal, but they see Calendly and say, oh, I recognize that, I trust that. So right off the bat, that is an important consideration, especially if your clients are older or not sophisticated computer users. In that case, I'd give a lot of points to Calendly. Calendly has a free tier, so you can start using it for free, but it's super limited at the free tier. If you use it for business, you're almost definitely going to have to upgrade because you can only create one calendar event. You also cannot charge for that calendar event on the free tier, and you won't be able to access all of the different integrations. To upgrade, it is $10 per month, and once you do that, you can set up unlimited booking pages, use your own branding on the booking pages, charge for calls, and use all of the integrations to connect it to payment pages, CRMs, and so on. The next calendar I used and still use is TidyCal. TidyCal is great for businesses on a budget. As before, you can use it for free, but you only get one calendar booking page. You can't charge for bookings on the free tier, and you're limited on the integrations. But here's what I love about TidyCal for businesses. You pay once, and you get it forever. For $29, one time, you get all the premium features of TidyCal forever. And once you get that lifetime deal, you can charge for bookings and create unlimited calendars. But the downside of TidyCal is that you cannot get a custom domain. You can't ever completely get rid of the TidyCal branding. And in general, it's just a lot simpler than the other calendars. But for some people, that's a benefit. So again, TidyCal is my recommendation for businesses on a budget and for people who don't need anything fancy. Maybe you don't care about having your custom domain and branding, and you're not integrating it with a lot of other third-party apps. And the third calendar I'm gonna tell you about, this one is my favorite and the one that I use the most now, is Cal.com. Cal.com is open source. It's completely free for unlimited booking pages, accepting payments, and all the other important features that I talked about with the other apps, you don't have to pay at all until you add teammates, which means having multiple people on the same account. At that point, it'll be $12 per month. Cal.com has hands down the most integrations and features of all of the calendars I've talked about, but this also means that it's the most complicated. It's not difficult, anyone can figure it out, but again, if you just value simplicity, TidyCal is probably better. But for me, as a software nerd, as a power user, 
cal.com is hands down my favorite calendar I've talked about today. Give this video a like if you found it useful. And if I missed anything or you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll respond to you there. Bye.